Hey, today we're going to talk about how to bring awareness around limiting beliefs. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, you can't see the label when you're in the bottle. And the, I think we all know that limiting beliefs are bad. We don't want them. Also, we're all human. We have them. And the trickiest part about limiting beliefs is that we can't see them. To us, they're truths. And they sound very logical and justifiable, etc. And we don't know that they're there. And so I'm going to walk you through um, how to get some awareness around some of your own limiting beliefs. I think will be really, really helpful. helpful. Uh, but most of this conversation is not as much about limiting beliefs as it is about empowering beliefs. While we all have limiting beliefs, we have empowering ones as well. And we get to decide which beliefs we focus on. Uh, this reminds me of an old Cherokee story I read a long time ago. I was recently reminded of it. I'm going to read this to you. An old grandfather was teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, he said to the boy. It is a terrible fight and is between two wolves. One is evil. He has anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. He continued, the other is good. He is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The same fight is going on inside you and inside every other person too. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandfather, which wolf will win? The grandfather simply replied, the one you feed. Today, in one of our masterminds, we had a client ask a really smart question about how to explain a certain part of her comp plan to new people. Her belief about this part of the comp plan was a limiting belief in that it sold out her action. So yes, we did some reframing, we discussed strategy and some wording to explain this whole thing to new builders and address the limiting belief to get her to feel better about it. But the one thing that really stood out, of me, stood out to me in this conversation was her empowering beliefs. She said, I know this part is tricky, but I think the product is amazing. So is the company. And I know I can make this work. She had one limiting belief and three empowering beliefs. And so she focused on her empowering beliefs, handled the limiting one. And that really inspired me. Recently, we all set some 2024 goals. And if we look at any one of those goals, there's going to be a whole bunch of beliefs around them. Some are going to be limiting and some of them are going to be empowering. And it's going to be hard for us to figure out which ones are going to sneak up and mess us up. And so here's a big idea to bring some empowerment or some uh, awareness around the empowering and the limiting beliefs. So uh, grab a piece of paper or a journal sometime today. Uh, it's like a two minute exercise. Write down one of your goals. Um, the first thing you're going to do is write down the goals then write down all the beliefs. Don't hold back. Don't edit, even if they sound ridiculous once you start writing them. And next to the empowering ones, put an E. And next to the limiting ones, put an L. Then you'll know which ones to feed and which ones to start. So here is an example uh, from my life. So I want more basketball in my life. My basketball team completely fell apart. And so now I need to decide, do I want to rebuild a new one or just see what happens and uh, so the goal would be rebuild my basketball team. And I have a bunch of beliefs. Uh, we have some good people, but they can't be at every game. We're going to get crushed without Sean. So why even bother? Maybe it will be okay. I'm sure the people we have can find at least one person. I should at least try. I'll regret it. The city might have extra players if we need any. Don't know if, I, if people will want to play. I'm an out of shape girl who's going to be the leader. It's still progress. Now, as I wrote all of those down, I was able to identify the empowering ones and then the uh, limiting ones, we're going to get crushed without Sean, and that I'm a girl uh, playing in a men's league, those would be limiting beliefs. Now I can handle those using uh, some of the strategies that I'm going to share with you at the next workshop that we're doing. Um, and I can really feed those empowering beliefs and focus on those so that, um, you know, I take actions that are in my best interest as opposed to in opposition to my goals. So that's uh, just the quick exercise that I want you to try today. Even if you do it in your brain, it's worth something. But if you take a couple minutes and write down your goal, all your beliefs, and which ones you know indicate which ones are limiting, which ones are empowering, I think that's going to help a lot to create an action plan for your 2024 goals. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you and wish me luck in uh, getting that 
basketball team built. I'll keep you all posted. All right. Bye.